Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. Today, we work a problem from the PE Civil Exam from the Water Resources Breath section. So let's dive in. In the past three years, a rural town has experienced seven 100-year flood events. Citizens have lost homes and are very upset. They have come to you as the technical expert and ask what the chance is for that storm to occur again this year. What percentage should you advise? So if we look at this problem, it's important to realize that this is actually a concept problem in disguise. And so if we turn to the PE reference handbook, and at the time of this recording we're using version 1.1 of the PE reference handbook, but if we turn to section 6.5 point 1.2 <clears throat> and if we turn to that section we have the probability of a single occurrence in a given storm year and that equation is equal to p equals 1 over t where t is time in units of years so we can dissect this problem and we need to use our engineering judgment to realize that the fact that there were seven storms in the past three years is irrelevant and is not needed to solve the problem. What we need to focus on is that the concept being tested here is the probability that it will occur this year and the percentage of that probability. And so we know that with the 100-year storm or the 100-year flood event that in any given year, the probability is 1%. We can also use the equation we just found and plug in our numbers. So if we plug in P equals 1 over 100, and we do the math, we get P is equal to 0 0.01, which is equal to 1%. And looking at the answer choices, we realize that that is answer choice B, 1%. And we are finished. So it's important to realize that concept problems on the PE exam can sometimes be disguised with a bunch of numbers and to work through and remember our basic concepts used to solve the problem. So I hope that helps you and all of us here at Civil Engineering Academy are here to walk with you on your journey towards becoming a licensed PE and help you pass your FE and PE exams. So we encourage you to enroll in one of our breadth or depth review courses over at civilengineeringacademy.com and we'll see you there.